This is the Chemist Anti-Aging Tear List for your face. Using this, you can make significant improvements to your overall appearance with relative ease, regardless of if you're 20 or 57. So I'll be ranking the following items on the screen and for each one we'll disclose the benefit that you stand to gain according to existing literature. Our main focus is gonna be on collagen and elastin levels because these start to dip once we hit 20 years old. And they're the major reason that you might see 25 year olds who look like 45 year olds with a mortgage and three or four kids. I'm Angel, I'm a chemist who's focused on personal care science, so you are in excellent hands here. Once again, here are the items that we'll be ranking on the tier list. Let's start with one that people hear about all the time, which is hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid gets F tier, likely no benefit long term. It makes your fine lines and wrinkles look better because of the increased skin hydration, so it's just temporary. It's also used at medium to high molecular weights in pretty much all formulas, so it's not actually penetrating deeply enough into your skin to impact collagen and elastin synthesis. So it's, it's great if you want a little bit more skin hydration, but not so much for anti-aging. Peptides, they are chains of amino acids. Here's the thing, peptides absolutely work. In studies where peptides are applied directly to skin cells, they just brutally outperform pretty much everything from an anti-aging perspective. We're gonna rank it at B tier. Why? Why? Because the problem is that there's a big difference between direct application in vitro versus actually using peptides in the real world. Peptides have a really tough time getting through our skin barrier to impart the wonderful benefits that they promise. And since there are seemingly infinite amounts of combinations of amino acids that can make up a peptide, it's very difficult to find good quality studies that consistently back them. Some of the better peptides are known commercially as Matrixyl 3000 or Argyrolein. These apply 2X daily, we're able to reduce wrinkle depth and volume by 10 to 20% after just 30 days. And our gyrolene even had results in the 30 to 40% range. And this is great because it means that you could try a peptide for 30 days and if you aren't seeing a benefit by then, you know to just get rid of them. I've personally seen some really awesome benefits from these two peptides, particularly noticeable for me around the forehead expression line area. I've also seen some pretty fantastic results from people using peptides and incorporating into their routine without changing anything else but they do seem to be a little bit hit or miss. For some people, they're getting great results, others they are not seeing anything. Next up, vitamin C, AKA ascorbic acid. So this is one of the most well-studied ingredients when it comes to anti-aging. Used topically, it's able to penetrate into your skin thanks to a very low pH of around 2.8 to 3.5. The existing literature shows that it can increase collagen synthesis by 20 to 25%, which means that you'll age a lot more smoothly when you use it. Not only that, it decreases collagen degradation and it's a potent antioxidant that's particularly good at handling sun damage. So these are things like sunspots, redness, that classic leathery skin that you might see from someone on the beach. Use it once a day and you can see significant improvement in your overall appearance by one to two months, especially if you get dark spots on the skin or under your eye, anything like that. The real benefit that comes from collagen generation does take a little bit of time to, to kick in, so expect four to 12 months for that. This lands it at a A tier here, highly recommended for anti-aging with good proven benefit. Product-wise, the gold standard for vitamin C is from SkinCeuticals, but at about $180, it is difficult to palate, so I'll provide some great lower cost alternatives for you in the description below. Microneedling, you can get this done in office or you can do it at home as well. I am a, if you, if you watch the channel, I'm a huge fan of microneedling for hair growth as well as for skin benefit. The, the before and afters that you see from microneedling are absolutely insane and I haven't seen anything else like it that you can do at home. A study based on four sessions one month apart found up to 400% increase in collagen and elastin deposition at six months post procedure and thicker skin to boot, which is important because our skin thins as we age. 400% is a staggering number and it's, it's also amazing with improving scars that you may have from acne as well as improving overall skin texture. S tier all day, baby. The downsides are that it's not as simple as just slapping on a cream before bedtime. The depth of the needling does impact the outcome and it doesn't feel that great when you do it. So it's just not the most accessible entry on the list. Um, I've got a full video that goes more in depth on microneedling. So you can check that out right here if you wanna learn more so you can needle for some sweet, sweet gains. Collagen powder, D tier. As time goes by, the literature does get better and better in defense of collagen powder, but it ultimately falls in that maybe category. I actually use Vital Proteins collagen powder daily, and I notice my skin is a little bit more hydrated, maybe 10 to 15% more. 
which can of course impact how we're seeing our fine lines and wrinkles through filling up the skin. It's just we aren't quite there just yet in the studies to find conclusive benefit to collagen synthesis from these supplements. And even if we did, that doesn't mean that buying collagen from one vendor is the same as buying it from another. Not that it matters, but I've, I've never really seen someone with crazy before and afters of using collagen supplements. Most people just seem to swear by it for joint pain and, and helping that out. If you can swing it financially, I would try it out for a few months to see if you notice a benefit. The positive is that it helps fill your protein macro, so worst case, you're getting 20 grams of protein on the day. LED masks get A tier. So like vitamin C, this is a great to have, but not necessarily a must have. The in-office procedures see about 36% wrinkle reduction, 19% increased skin elasticity with a marked increase in collagen and elastin fibers. While the studies aren't bulletproof for the in-home devices, there are a lot of okay ones, and when that's coupled with the results that I've seen both from Reddit and from myself, it certainly seems like a fair portion of those improvements apply to the at-home mask. These at-home masks are used anywhere from three to five times per week for 10 minutes each session. And I also have a video that goes more into detail on LED masks, so definitely check that one out. The downside is they do cost three to $400 to pick up a mask, a quality mask anyways. So if you can't swing it, don't feel like you're missing out on too much, but know that if you can swing it, it is something that can bring pretty noticeable benefits for you. And a reminder that links are available for you in the description below for any recommendations on any of these items. If you want a more individualized recommendation, just drop it in the comments and I'm more than happy to help you out with your specific routine. Would appreciate a like and subscribe. Let's get back to it. So pretty much every other facial device, you get an F tier. Really bad manufacturer studies, nothing past temporary benefits, often a pain to use them, expensive as all hell, and you never see great before and after results from these. And if you do, they're so, they're so, so temporary. Antioxidants, so whether you go for these intentionally or not, you're probably getting them from whatever moisturizer that you use, and of course, from your diet. Antioxidants get a C tier. This is because while you're definitely not gonna see any difference whatsoever in a before and after pictures by specifically adding them in, they are an important part of the long game for anti-aging, and they have a role to play in preventing degradation of collagen and elastin, as well as mitigating damage from environmental stressors. All in all, there probably isn't much need to go out of your way for these, especially if you're using something like vitamin C, which is a very, very potent antioxidant. There are other kinds of vitamin C, so vitamin C derivatives, these might be able to do the same things that we see from the A tier ascorbic acid, but we don't have the quality studies just yet to be conclusive about that. Some of the more promising derivatives are tetrahexadecyl ascorbate and 3-O-ethyl ascorbic, uh, ascorbic acid. Most all of the derivatives perform very well for brightening the skin and they're still great antioxidants, so you'll see great skin benefits in terms of your appearance, but we just can't definitively say anything about the impact on collagen and anti-aging like we can with ascorbic acid. Thus, we are gonna put this right in the B tier. Retinoids, specifically tretinoin, retinaldehyde, and retinol. Everyone should have a retinoid in their routine. Benefit-wise, they can prevent collagen degradation, improve epidermal thickness, and they can bring you up to an 80% increase in collagen one formation, which is 90% of what your collagen is comprised of. Because of this, retinoids do get that coveted S tier because they are somewhat easy to use as you apply it nightly, and you just ease up if you get dry or irritated. As with anything collagen, it does take time to see the benefits. So the bigger part of your results will take six to 12 months, but in the meantime, it is excellent at combating acne, dark spots or blemishes, uh, sun damage, dull skin, and it can control oil for those with oily skin. So virtually everything that you would want for your skin can be had with retinoid use. Right now, the height and tretinoin are the most potent, but tretinoin does tend to be quite irritating and requires a prescription. For retinoids, I do recommend checking out the Strive Apex Serum. I don't think this is gonna focus because I have the setting turned off, but not only does this come with the most potent retinoid available without a prescription, it includes peptides and vitamin C as well, so you're checking off a few of the boxes on this tier list with it. It also has a satisfaction guarantee, so if you don't like it, you can get your money back. Strive is my brand, so I've custom made this formula from scratch, and any bottle that you receive has been handmade by me. It's not like some creator on YouTube ordering a supplement and, and just slapping their name on it. This is years of cosmetic chemistry experience that's culminated into a game-changing product. I appreciate your support either way, and of course, I will have other recommendations for you available in the description for different budget levels and what have you. Facial exercises, F tier. There is some potential for these to be helpful in slowing reduction in bone density as you age, as well as counterbalancing facial fat loss. So 
The anti-aging benefit from this is supposed to be more overall face structure based. The idea is that the added muscle in the face can potentially make up for some of that fat loss that happens over time. Ultimately it has no bearing on collagen or elastin production and there's very little data to support that facial exercises are a worthwhile investment of your time and energy. Chemical exfoliants. Chemical exfoliants absolutely will make you look incredible assuming that you're not just blowing your face up and overdoing it. These are things like glycolic acid and lactic acid known as AHAs or salicylic acid known as a BHA. So this is counter to what you may read from a blog or a different poster online, but I'm not sure that they actually read the studies in depth. The thing is that we don't know the actual long-term anti-aging benefit from chemical exfoliants. They make you look amazing because you have less dead skin cell layers on your face, so your complexion is a lot more clear, smooth, and bright, so definitely recommend it for that. As far as collagen and elastin, I looked at several studies and any of the ones that were good studies, that they, the benefits came from these crazy doses that you absolutely wouldn't use at home or they're used in ways that you wouldn't use it. Like this one study found great benefit from a 20% glycolic acid solution that's applied to your forearm twice a day for three months. If you applied a 20% glycolic acid to your face, even once a day, every other day, you would absolutely melt your face off and you would be miserable. So the in-office chemical treatments may be a good option for collagen, but not so much the at-home ones. While this has potential to be a high B tier, we're gonna put it at the top of C tier. And our final mystery entry lands right in the S plus tier. If you could only pick one item from this entire list to use, this would far and away be the best option for you. It's sunscreen. UV exposure is responsible for up to 80% of visible aging. So imagine two 50 year olds, I don't know, on a yacht in Miami. One looks maybe 35, the other one looks 70. That's how drastic of a difference that we're talking about here. So, so which one do you wanna be? But I guess if I'm on a yacht, I'd be cool either way. Just take a look at some of these horrifying images of sunscreen versus non-sunscreen skin directly compared. While sunscreen isn't building more collagen and elastin for you, it is in the S plus tier because it so heavily prevents photo aging. If you did every single thing on this list, but you still live a life of zero sun protection, you're going to age poorly, regardless of if you're white, if you're black or whatever. It also helps prevent skin cancer, which over 100,000 people a year get diagnosed with. Staggering number. So be sure to regularly apply sunscreen, especially if you're gonna be going out on a sunny day for a fair amount of time. Okay, that was a lot more information than I initially intended. Hope you found this useful. For anything that I didn't mention that you have a question about, drop that in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer you. Drop this a like and a subscribe so that you don't miss future content and I'll catch you next time. Adios.